Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. We are back at our rubber production area. We are back drinking a barrel nut coffee. It is coffee for Angelico Irish Cream Liqueur. Irish Cream Liqueur. And what's the last thing? Kalua. Cheers. Okay. So yes, we're back at our rubber area. We are back here because we are getting ready to load this onto trains or the train in specific um in particular I should say why are those not running i do not know um in between episodes i did a couple things i worked a little bit on this building just to get ready to put a roof on it i also went and i built an additional 24 fuel generators over here so I think we had these three buildings. I built two more groups of buildings going that way. So now we have 24 generators and we're actually for a change producing more power than we are consuming at max consumption. So that's uh, pretty nice. I also uh, built the second side of our turbo fuel production facility, which is obviously there's nothing in it yet and decorated it a little bit more and put roofs and stuff in all that fun stuff on and i also started up this next batch of refineries to output rubber because with all these generators running we were actually having a backup of resin with only that one group of refineries running so we needed we needed more uh actually saying that i know why this isn't running because we don't have enough resin yeah yeah, that's why. Because two of these would need a belt, a full belt and a half to fulfill all these machines. So that's why, but that's fine. One day that will be sorted. So, a couple things we need to deal with. First of all is this railway station. Uh, I've decided what I am going to do with the empty car on our six uh, car train and we're going to put fuel packaged fuel into that car so uh, from locomotive it's going to go rubber packaged fuel um, quartz crystals silica plastic and computer chips and that's going to be our full train so let's work on doing that and that will start by getting this train backed up a bit nope that is not how we do that So we'll back this up. Um, I am going to have to move the awesome sink and this. So let's do that now. Because, oh no. Oh, okay. We'll come back for that. There's going to be a freight platform right there. Cool. Um, now. Oh, I shouldn't erase that control unit yet. I, should, I could have stuck it in there. Uh, the other thing I've changed my mind on is I'm not going to bring the other railway track in through here. I'm going to load it at the very at the back end of that uh, production. The uh, turbo fuel production building. So it's not even going to be in this part of the map. Can we zoop? So I'm not too concerned about filling this area in now. Which is good. I'm also not too concerned with getting that railway station built or plumbed or anything yet, because we are still a little ways off from, oh my god, having turbo fuel up and running. Now, the auto saves. I keep talking about needing to turn them off, and I never do, and I've decided I'm not actually going to turn them off, because this game still crashes quite a bit. I had a couple crashes in between episodes, and I don't want to have to... 
like lose a bunch of work and then have to um, redo it all. So we'll just have to deal with the lag every once in a while. I think we can survive though. Nope. So we are. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Hey. I'm not on the wrong. Somebody put a Mark 1 pump where my Mark 4 belt should be. Who did that? Okay. Oh, that does not line up at all. Okay. So, packaged fuel. That is going to be a little tricky. Because I have to pipe a fuel pipe over from where our fuel pipes are, basically. You are going to be overflow. Okay, sweet. Um, and we need to have plastic here. Also, I, <laughs> I went all out on the naming of the station. Real, real creative. So, the other part of that is we need plastic, so I gotta convert one of these refineries in here to plastic. Which I think is probably gonna change the rest of, like the amount of resonance stuff as well, which is not super hot. Why aren't you running? Oh, because you do not have power. That makes sense. Kiana? Kiana? Okay. I got to check these lines later on. I don't know if they are correctly oriented here. Ooh, that looks awful. I was getting ready to do the like keep the turbo fuel on a separate separate circuit, but I think I have this messed up. I believe the bottom the middle should be the turbo fuel power and the bottom should be everything else. And by middle and bottom I mean middle and bottom. But uh it looks like I have the middle plumbed into my train station right now, so whatever, we're not dealing with that right now. We are dealing with plastic. Okay, so that's why nothing was running, so that's very good. You're just gonna be slow. So let's see what this recipe looks like compared to a different recipe. So you take 40 polymer per minute and water. If I change you to residual rubber, I th it looks like it's the same. 40 and 40. That's because I picked the same recipe. Let's try that again. Residual plastic. Ah, it takes more resin. Very tricky. So we'll take 60. Okay. So I believe there was talk of having to put power slugs in one of these in order to have it balance out properly. Oh shoot, I just connected that belt, right? Okay, good. So maybe I don't, if I have plastic on it, maybe I don't need the power slug, perhaps? don't know. We're just going to work off of that assumption for the time being. Uh, okay. You need this. And then we got to figure out what we're doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> With these belts. Alright. So there's our train station. That's going to be the station for plastic. Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm going to change this a wee bit. Keep it out along the wall. Oh my, that is absolutely not correct in the slightest. Take me up here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Mm, this might not actually work any better up here either. How about we go from this direction instead? <laughs> there, okay. That's better. So, plastic. Plastic is going to go, uh, no, sorry, plastic is not going to go. Um, what's going to go is fuel. I might slap fuel just in behind here somewhere. Do a little fuel room. What's back here? A hill. <laughs> a hill and some bushes. You know what? I like this idea. It can be our secret fuel production room. Okay. And it definitely does not have to be pretty. But it is going to need power. So let's go upstairs. I might just cut out a hole in the floor, like right there. That might be the easiest. I'll leave this bush here. <laughs> he could. Nah, it looks it looks strange. <laughs> All right. How did you survive? Oh, you're lucky. Okay. None of that went in my inventory, excellent. So, okay, let's go upstairs and see how this looks upstairs. Now I'm pretty sure I can probably get away with a Mark II belt. I can probably even get away with a Mark I belt, to be honest. Let's go upstairs and see. I don't know how much fuel I'm going to need. It could end up in the future that I turn all of those to plastic production in order to have like a big fuel industry. But for now, I think we're just going to leave it. Because I'm not 100% sure what our fuel demands are going to be. How much do you make? 20 per minute. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Here? Okay. Well, that plan is not going to work. Um, or is it? No, it's not. Can I get out? That was weird. My fuel packager. Let's 
So you need, yeah, you need, oh, I need uh, empty containers as well. Right. Actually, that works out pretty well. Looks like it's cool like this. If this becomes a thing that I actually have to like have a lot of, I will make this room a little better. But for now, this will do. 60 per minute, okay, perfect. So I'm making more than enough. Yeah, I can actually boost this by, by one sluggo. There we go. Perfect. And you need 30 per minute, but I'm not making 30, I'm only making 20, right? At best. So maybe we won't worry about this. Give me my sluggo back. Perfect. Now, still gotta figure out how we're getting this plastic down here and how we're getting the fuel in as well. I don't think the fuel is gonna be a big issue. Plastic though might be. Okay, so far so good. Hmm. This is what I have to say about this situation. So the issue is that this is right on the end. Well, these are all right on the edge. Uh, okay, let's do this. I'll see if we can hide it somehow. are making 20 per minute <laughs> when you have resin which you don't awesome well that's fine like I said we don't need a whole ton of fuel yet I'm not sure what else uses fuel and eventually I imagine this will end up being turbo fuel Okay, power also needs to be a thing. Should be making containers anyway. Not so much plastic yet, but definitely containers. So let's look at maybe bringing fuel through here. And for fuel, we can just have something like that. Nope. And once we get this set up, oh shoot, this is gonna have to all be Mark II. Yep, that sucks, okay. Once we get all this set up, our train will be ready to go. Uh, 
Um, this is going to go over here for now. Until I figure out a better way to do it. Like eventually what's going to happen, this is all going to be mirrored on this side. So I'll be able to probably run this pipe underneath the equivalent of that building on this side. But we are many, many moons away from that. So not something I'm real concerned about at the moment. We have done a thing. Oh no. Well, we can hide that. We can hide that like this. Now, no one's the wiser. We're waiting for that field to be made. Let's let's do stuff here. Okay, let's throw a roof on this building and then we'll be done. All right, building roof. We're going to use actual roofs. He says, not knowing where they are. There we go. I just realized something. Oh, actually, no, it'll work. It will be absolutely fine. So you go down there. Maybe we'll leave that exposed for the time being until we figure out those cables. gap there and I've got a plan for that gap all right let's do something like this Let's try it. I thought it was going to be another gap on this side, but apparently there's not. Actually, since there's not, let's make this an actual wall just to break it up a bit. Sure. Uh, here too, please. I don't actually have a plan for this. I'm just freaking winging it, basically. Um, here, I wanted one of these.
Yeah, like that. Okay. Like so. And then I think we're going to just do flat roof. Yeah, I think let's do flat roof. Is it actually 10? It is, that's very convenient. Uh, we'll fix up the inside of this afterwards. Have to go back inside and finish up the interior walls afterwards. Okay. Yeah, like that, and then zoop this way. Zoop! Why aren't you zooping? Seven, nice. Seven. Oh, nope, it should have been eight. Okay. Good to know. did a thing. Thing done. Let me back in. Okay, these flat sections can get... Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh, this needs an upside down wall. Cool. Uh, ugh, whatever. You know what? I've changed my mind. Let's switch it up a little bit on this side. Yeah, give me one of those. Sweet. Yeah, the, the water pumps are struggling out there because we don't have enough resin coming through. All right, I think, I think it's fully enclosed. Safety first. <laughs> Let's go see, do we have fuel in here? No, so it didn't connect it inside. Ugh. Oh, we got lots of plastic anyways. Well, I say lots, not really. Hey, fuel. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put a cut in here. We are going to bring this building train back to the main platform and then we are going to do something else
So let's go to here. At a timetable. What is this? Shirt and Bosch. <laughs> Sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Nothing good is going to come of that. And that's actually not even the station I want. I want this one. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to park this building train here for now. Because um, this station is going to be the station that we're running our actual train from. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a cut in here. When we come back, we will get this train up and running. And then we can start working on our electronics manufacturing finally. It only took like 12 episodes, but we finally got there. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And we will see you next time. Cheers.